Good morning and happy Vlogmas day five. Can you believe it? 20 more days to Christmas. I'm just having a little bit of breakfast. I made these soft boiled eggs, but I think I made them too soft. Like I like the middle to be not super hard but not drippy, um, but these ones are really hard to peel and they keep breaking. So I think I undercooked them just a wee bit. Today I am just so excited to be getting my hair done. Look at that. I've never seen my hair roots that dark before, that line. Um, and maybe we'll go to the store. I, I don't really have too many plans. This one is a little better. I'm just gonna go rinse it off, cut it in half. Oh yeah, perfect. See how the inside is still a little, I don't know, I call it jammy. I know jammy is, is when it's like, kind of like the texture of jam, but it's cold now, but if it was, not cold, it would be hard, like really thick gym. I have to say, I'm sorry <clears throat> that my life in the day seems so boring, but it is real life. I work every day. <laughs> so there's not too much I can do, but I think this coming week, Friday, I'll have more stuff in the day. Um, tomorrow night, Andrew and I, we are volunteering, um, for this charity Thursday. I can't remember, but next Monday I have the day off, but this weekend, Sunday, Amy, my sister and I, Amy Lee, we're going to bake cookies. So definitely have more festive stuff, but I hope that you're enjoying just like spending my regular life with me. And as we get more towards Christmas, obviously things are going to ramp up. We're going to do more holiday stuff. Um, but I just thought I would say thanks for sticking around in my kind of just ordinary life. Anyways, I have to head upstairs and get to work. So I'll see you in a little bit. It is lunchtime. And usually for lunch... You guys are gonna be so impressed with my gourmet taste. Um, for lunch, what I like to eat is hot dogs. <laughs> I love hot dogs. Um, they're delicious, they're easy. Put a little cheese on it, it's so good. These ones are Greenfield Natural Meat. They are antibiotic free, humanely raised, no sugar, no nitrates, no preservatives, yada, yada, yada. So I just get two. I grab two of these. And then I cut it down the middle. Like almost halfway. So it's like slit open and that's the perfect place to put cheese when it's finished cooking and then I just put them in the microwave for like two minutes <laughs> Then what I like to do is take the, just this one slice. It's not American cheddar. It's black diamond cheddar slices. So it's not fake cheese. Quarter it and then just stick it kind of in the, in the slits. It's like a deconstructed cheddar sausage. <laughs> and that's my lunch. I will usually eat this with an egg or something else um but i just didn't feel like it something i wanted to talk about is and maybe you haven't noticed but probably the way that i'm eating is funny um and i do want to make a video 
about this, but I pretty much, actually not pretty much, I am eating carnivore. So my diet 100% consists of products or food that comes from an animal. Um, so minimal dairy or minimal amount of cheese, butter, eggs, and lots of protein. A lot of people have opinions about the carnivore diet. I am doing it and I will make a video to talk about it later because <clears throat> I have many thoughts on this. But the cliff notes are um, I'm doing it for PCOS. It directly helps your insulin levels and PCOS. Um, one of the main factors of PCOS is insulin resistance and just your insulin throwing off your hormones. And I have seen a huge, huge difference and improvement in my body and in my PCOS since eating this way. And I did so much treatment for my PCOS. Something I'll talk about on a later date. I'm not looking for opinions on whether people think this is good or not. You have to do what works for you and this is what works for me. So if you see what I'm eating and you're like, that's weird or you're only eating meat or things like that, that's why. Anyways, you don't have to sit here and watch me. You can go do something else. We are back. I am just waiting. It's almost time to go in uh, and get my hair done. I am so excited. I have had these roots for so long. I know no one cares, but I do. I cannot believe the day has finally come. And I, I definitely need a trim. I don't want one, but I need one. So we're gonna do that. I'm back and I'm blonde. I got a decent little choppity chop, but I feel so much better. But I'm so hungry. And actually when I was driving home, it's starting to snow. Well, it's like kind of like icy snow. I wanted to run out and do a few errands, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a good idea? Oh my baby, oh my big baby. You have bad breath. You have bad breath. Your eyes are so red. Oh, Walter. bacon really crispy but maybe that one got a little too crispy but it's so much easier to make bacon in the oven and then we have eggs kind of a staple right now oh and Andrew got his hair done haircut day haircut day looks really good now we will feast
<laughs> oh my gosh. I actually think this is so cute. Oh, there's something on the sleeve, but it's a cute style. So I just went to Indigo, which is essentially the Canadian Barnes and Noble, but I actually think it's one of the few things that is better. And it's always so Christmassy in there, it gives me the feels. There's nothing like the smell of coffee and books. I don't know, if, it's like forever etched in my mind, being a kid and when it used to be called chapters came to canada we used to go as a family and everyone would grab magazines and my dad would get co my mom and dad would get coffee and tea and they'd sit and they'd read and we'd go grab books and it was so fun so it's like one of my favorite most nostalgic stores um i didn't pick anything up there i was hoping to find like stocking stuffers for andrew but I did pick up a gift for myself, which is this book called Dead on Target by M.C. Beaton. This is like, uh, I think this is book 30 in this Agatha Raisin series. I've read all the books. This is the newest one. Um, and yeah, so I read two books when I was on vacation. I felt like I deserved another. That was all I got from Indigo. From Walmart, I picked up some gift wrapping boxes. This one already had decorations, but I got it because it had more size, whereas this one has all the same sizes. They really get you because it says 10 pieces, but it really only makes five boxes. So that's why I bought two packs. And then I just picked up one 24 pack of this tissue paper Some power wash and Dawn dish soap Sorry And aluminum aluminum foil Hello I'm home Can I have a kiss? Ow my ear Anyways, nothing like a good little shopping trip to get you in the mood. I just needed a break. I just needed to get out of the house outside of getting my hair done. Anyways, I am going to put this stuff away, edit this video, and get to bed because I'm very tired. Oh, I'm so tired and I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy Vlogmas day five and i will see you again tomorrow for vlogmas day six we're getting there don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'll see you again good night